1228 right now and making Cincinnati a safer and more profitable place to work. That is the goal of a new plan just revealed within the past hour by Mayor John Cranley and Senator Sharon Brown. Now, nine of your sides, Kristen Swilly joins us live with what all these changes are going to mean for us. And Kristen, we're talking about huge changes, not just for workers, but for businesses as well. Absolutely. A $15 an hour minimum wage for every single full time employee in Cincinnati. Mayor John Cranley saying he is committed to that and he wants to go ahead and get it up to $15 an hour. He stood with several members of city council today who agreed to help boost pay and increase safety at different work sites. Now, among the politicians were U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown, who was co sponsoring the Pay Workers a Living Wage Act. That would get the federal minimum wage to $15 by 2020. The nationwide fight for 15 came to Cincinnati just a few months ago with protesters at Norwood and Cincinnati City, Call City Hall calling for an increase back in November. One of the city workers who would benefit from this is Sheila Nash, who has worked for the Cincinnati Health Department since 1986. This would mean a $4,000 raise for her. Right now, she makes $27,000 a year. It would be wonderful to have a raise. Um, I can put food on my budget then. Right now, it's not on there. So, thank you very much. Another big part of this initiative increased crane safety after an accident at the banks last month. No one was hurt, but someone was killed in a similar accident in New York City. Now, of course, these proposed reforms will have to be approved by city council to take effect. The current minimum wage for a full time city employee, $12.58 an hour. Reporting live, Kristen Swilly, not on your side.